So then uh, we moved on to uh, access to voting and Mayor Pete wants to make election day a federal holiday and that's great, but what about retail employees? I think, uh, I think retail employees might not get that federal holiday. Um, and if you really want that to count, you should, you should make it two days. You should make it two days uh, and uh, make one of those days a federal holiday and you consider what retail employees have to go through. So like half the staff works on the federal holiday because, because like, here's the thing is, if you don't, do you know how fucking mad people get when a Starbucks is closed for a federal holiday of any kind? Like people are just like, I gotta make all oh, but my sugar latte, sweet, delicious drink, I need it. I need it. Like people get fucking pissed about that sort of shit. You know, and then like grocery stores are going to be closed. I, I think, I think you need two days. Um, and you know, one half of the employees works on one day, and then the other, and then the the other half goes and votes, and then you flip flop it, and you make one of the days a federal holiday, but you make voting into two days, right? Like everybody wants this fucking instant shit where it's just like they cast their ballot, they did their exit polling. And then they're like, give me the results, give me the results. Who is it? Who is it? Who won? Who won? Did my candidate win? Did I win? Did it, is it me? Is it, did I win? Did I make the winning vote? Was I, did I matter? Did my vote matter? Oh my God, did we win? Is it me? Is it me? Is it like, no, chill the fuck out. We don't need to do it all in one week or, or one day. Maybe we take a day or two to like accurately count what we need to count and make it publicly verified. We take the time and we take the effort to make it publicly verified. That's what we need to do with our voting. Uh, Klobuchar pushed for paper ballots, uh, and uh, uh, and then she goes, "I don't think we can do that until I'm president." Like she makes the claim, and it's just like, "Shut the fuck up!" Tulsi Gabbard already has legislation that she's pushing for paper ballots, like to make the the election process more transparent. And she's not president yet. Like she's doing this as a congresswoman, and you're like, I can't do anything unless I'm president. I feel you like if you like my plan, you should just you should vote for me as president. And it's like, no. <laughs> if you have the fucking power, why don't you just why don't you just fucking put put a bill into place, write a bill together, right? Like, or jump on Tulsi's. Like, what the fuck? And then, uh, and then Pete was like, well, we need to be, a lot of people are not trustworthy of Washington. Like, we need to be critical of Washington politics. And I was like, sure, we do. But, you know, if you become president, you're going to be part of Washington politics, right, Mayor Pete? Like, you realize that. Uh, and then Tulsi comes in with the Secure Americans Election Act, which is a push for paper ballots. And then she was like, yeah, Amy, you can't do it till you're president. Yeah, I'm trying to get it done before. I'm putting in the I'm putting in the work already. Like I'm putting in the work for the people before I am commander in chief. So guess what I'll do when I'm in commander in chief? I'll fucking ramp all this shit up. And uh, and, and then she talked about like uh, what we need to do about these tech companies that interfere with our elections because she's currently suing Google for interfering with her collection because again, at the end of this debate, she was the most Google candidate. She's always the most Google candidate. Everybody's like, okay, I wanna find out more about this lady that didn't get to fucking talk. Like, why are they not letting her talk? Why are they smearing her? What don't I know about her, right? Um, and she's like the most Google candidate every time. And when she was, Google was like, oh, 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 no, oh, no. Well, cut the Google ads, cut the Google ads. So she's suing them for election interference. And then she, uh, and then she like flipped it, went, went in a little bit of a different direction where she criticized Mayor Pete uh, for being a vet uh, that, that doesn't qualify uh, it doesn't qualify you to be a president, uh, is what she said. Just because you're a veteran doesn't mean that you you automatically qualify to be um, a president. And uh, and then she criticized Pete for saying that he would send troops to Mexico to fight the cartels. Uh, and she goes, yeah, as a diplomat and as a soldier, I think that's like a real fucking bad idea. 
And then she, and then Pete twists Tulsi's words uh, after she brought up his gaff. And then she was like, how can you say something like that when you went and tried to broker peace with Assad? I mean, we need to be in more wars. You can't broker peace with the cartels. You can't broker peace with anybody. What you need to do is you got to put that dick on the table and that dick is a tank. That's what it is. Tank dick the world. That's what we need to do. We need tank dick energy. That's what America's all about. Tank dick energy. That's what... That's like... What? No, maybe we should fucking go meet with people and like try to broker a peace. Try to broker peace in the world. Like, why wouldn't you try diplomacy first? And then Pete kind of looks like real uncomfortable when Tulsi comes back and was just like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing your gaff game, bro. I'm not playing your smear tactics. Yeah, I'll, I've already called, she's already called him a brutal dictator a shit ton of times. So she was like, yeah, I'll do it again. I'll do it time and time again. It, I don't fucking give a shit. I'll fucking do it again. I'll keep calling him a, a, a brutal dictator and I'll probably take a peace to, to, a meeting with him again. If that's what it means to like take care of people. Because again, guess who gets fucked up, fucked over when it comes to military interventionism? The people of the country where military interventionism takes place. So uh, then you had uh, 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 Sanders talking about voter suppression, right? And he was basically like, we need to publicly fund elections. That's what we need to do. We need to publicly fund elections. And I think he's right. We do need to publicly fund elections. We need to get cam- uh, corporations out of uh, the election process. We need to we need to overturn Citizens United. Um, and uh, and that, I think that that was something that was discussed uh, as well. Um, I, I, that w- I would take that as a 28th Amendment put that into place, right? Like, get rid of fucking Citizens United. Fuck that shit. Uh, no more lobbyists uh, vying for uh, uh, legislation through donors and all that shit. And Mitch McConnell is super for that shit. He was just like, yeah, we should fucking get gifts. And if we get gifts, we should do whatever the person that gave us gifts are for. I I, I got a, a Korean hooker one Christmas uh, from the oil industry and and you're telling me that I'm not going to return the favor I mean that Korean hooker gave me my first blowjob in eight years you you don't think I'm gonna go and return the favor by legislating on behalf of the fossil fuel industry and then sucking all of their dicks at the same time I mean that's just rude I'm from Kentucky I, I believe in I believe in in treating people right and corporations are people, so you gotta you gotta blow all the corporations if they buy you a Korean hooker. Fuck you. Publicly funding elections, and then publicly verifying those elections too. We need more of that. I'll I'll reiterate that. Uh, Steyer talked about the 2018 voter turnout of of how we get people to turn out and and he basically said uh trump got people to turn out uh and he did right he did get a lot of people to turn out um and uh and and i I do want to stress this point um third parties did not take votes away from hillary clinton uh just because you voted for the green party just because you voted libertarian um doesn't mean that those if 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 those people were on the on the on the ballot that uh that those votes would have automatically belonged to hillary clinton Don't, it's not most likely what would have happened is those people would have stayed at home they would have stayed at home uh, that's it hey thanks for watching this video uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment current news stories uh, debates that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast Taboo Table Talk or Fork Full of Noodles it's a little bit looser And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, You can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. 
and uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content that was discussed and the, and the type of humor that you saw in this video, then you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I've got live shows coming up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Columbia, South Carolina, New York City, Philadelphia. I'm going to be on tour uh, in, in a whole bunch of places uh, at the end of 2019 and into 2020. Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com, for my entire tour schedule. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Check out my entire tour schedule, get your tickets there, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks again.